Hello everyone. Welcome to FICOanalyst.com specialized in SAP FICO design, implementation, support and training. My name is Raghu. I am knowledge partner at FICOanalyst.com. Today in this short presentation, I would like to go over broadcasting master data business process. So basically, the broadcasting master data is the master data coming from a different modules of SAP. So you have uh, the master data in MM module, production planning module, and the CO module, and FI modules. So from these different modules, the master data would be maintained and uh, the product cost would be estimated from based on the information from these modules. So first and foremost thing is that uh, material master data, it is very, very important. And uh, the material master is for inventory management. And it also has got the costing and accounting views, accounting view one and two and costing view one and two data. So that data is necessary to be maintained in order to have product costing, the, the product cost estimated and uh, used for different purposes. So the MM module is solely responsible for this. And uh, Metal Master has got many, many views. Uh, for example, uh, the views from uh, accounting views and the views from uh, production planning views like MRP view one, two, three, four. So all these module, all these uh, views will play uh, a role in uh, product cost estimation. And uh, for other information which is needed as a master data is the bills of materials, uh, often called as a BOMs or BOMs. So that information is very much needed in order to have uh, product cost because the cost would be rolled up based on the bills of materials uh, for a product. And then uh, the routing, the sequence of operations that are performed to transform raw materials into finished products. All these operations are embedded into routings. So the routing information is as master data information, uh, which is needed for um, broadcasting estimation as well as making the products. Then the work centers, the work centers are again uh, freely definable um, structures or the master data elements. Uh, depending upon the company, uh, these, these work centers design can come up. So basically the work centers are places where uh, you can uh, think of like the group of machines or machine, a single machine or group of people or you know, different uh, locations within a production facility uh, can be treated as work centers. And the work centers play important role in, um, in work scheduling of the entire uh, production planning. At the same time for the part cost uh, information is also will, will be coming from uh, work centers. So all these uh, three elements, uh, bills of materials, and routing, and work centers, uh, or as well as production version, like if you have more than one variation of you know, production, then you will maintain the production versions. The combination of the bills of material and routing is what we call production version. So all these elements are part of your CP module, the production planning module. Apart from these, um, you have general ledger, like general GL accounts, because primarily the GL accounts are used for the consumption, inventory management, production. So all these GL accounts are uh, required to be there uh, in order to have broadcasting. So they this is part of the general ledger module, you can say a big module. And then the cost elements, like you know, GL accounts, payroll accounts, uh, can be you know cost elements. So cost elements can be primary or secondary cost elements. So these cost elements need to be there in order to have your uh, birth cost estimated. So uh, which is the important master data element uh, overall. Then you have cost centers. Obviously, uh, there is a relation between the cost centers and work centers. So in a group of work centers can refer to a particular cost center. So 
the call center is typically a department, a production department, uh, which is which is performing activities on on the transformation of the material from raw materials to the finished product. In all the costs which associated with will be coming from the call center in association with uh, something called activity types. So the activity types are uh, you know a type of master data. Uh, which is used for measuring the type of activity which is performed. For example, the labor activity, you know, the number of hours labor, the purpose of calculation of the labor cost, and also, and also the machinery cost in terms of like, you know, number of hours that are used by a machine. So all these are, uh, you know, maintained as activity types. So activity types are very, very crucial part of your work cost. And activity types and the uh, cost center combination, you maintain something called activity rates. So activity rates are also important uh, because these rates are taken into the consideration for the calculation of uh, part cost. And uh, the final product cost will come up with uh, these activity rates uh, times the number of hours which are performed in uh, you know, routing operations. So all these, uh, you know, cost elements, active types, cost centers, and active rates are, you know, part of the CO module. So if you carefully observe, earth costing uh, as such has got no master data on its own, but all the master data which is there for the earth costing module, which is you know, CO module, uh, is coming from other modules like MM module, PT module, DL module and CO module. Okay, so part of our uh, per costing training and you know support, um, we would uh, uh, train you on all these master data elements and uh, take you through the every single uh, scenario of these master data elements, which will have impact on uh, per costing. Please uh, contact fsuanalyst.com for your uh, COPC training or integration training between the PP and uh, controlling model broadcasting. So we have uh, experts to work with you on your FSU implementation, design, support, and training. And you can contact at uh, 619-800-1235. And uh, if you have any questions regarding the implementation or you know, support or training, or if any requirements are there, please contact uh, Sriman at uh, ICOenglish.com. Uh, thank you for your time, uh, for watching this uh, short video. Uh, in future, we would be posting some demos on these uh, business processes. Uh, thank you, and appreciate your time for watching this video.